it ended the way we didn't want to at all. But uh, we will be here back next year. We will win the national championship next year, mark my word. Big hit, Matt just did it again. It, it has been a crazy year, and um, but like you said, it we're, we're not done yet. Four supers, four years, you know, uh, and uh, two trips to Omaha. I, I, I mean, I there's just, one way to beat it. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, thing there's one do. thing left to do, and uh, it's still in front of us, so let's go do it. WCBI sports coverage of the NCAA College World Series is brought to you in part by Monroe County Farm Bureau, Jackson Square Storage, Bill Cunningham, Attorney at Law, and Bank First, a better way to bank. Welcome here to TD Ameritrade Park in beautiful Omaha, Nebraska. Tom Ebel, Courtney Robb. It's the Oma Dogs One Thing Left to Do special. We're here with all things Mississippi State in the College World Series for the second straight year. Courtney, I was able to experience Omaha last year with the Diamond Dogs. This is your first experience here in Omaha. Let's hear it. What do you think? What do you think about the ballpark? First things first is I think the ballpark is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of the better ones I've seen. And it was actually only built back in 2011. So a newer ballpark, you could say. And they've definitely done a great job keeping it up. The grounds people, I'm sure, do a great job. It rained a little bit earlier today, and they did a great job of drying it. And so kept in great condition. It's been lovely. The layout of it is fantastic. And I've thoroughly enjoyed. And you know, it wouldn't be Omaha without some rain or some sort of shower. Absolutely. So we're prepping for <laughs> it already, but we're going to have much more coming up on the stadium a little bit here on our special, and we're going to compare it to Duty Noble. I don't know if you can compare it, but I think we tried our best. I, I did try my best. <laughs> you know, it's it's a hard comparison, but both, I will say, they do baseball justice, if, if anything else. That's a great point. So how did we get here, Courtney? Is a insane couple of weeks. Mississippi State spent time in Duty Noble Field in their regional and super regional. So let's start from the super, the, uh, not the super, I'm jumping ahead. The regional. It was really Mississippi State all the time. The Southern game, Jordan Westberg broke out of his slump. Bulldogs win 11 to 6. Got a little bit of the jitters out there, down a little bit early, but everything's okay. Moving on to Central Michigan, where it was an Ethan Small happening. The Bulldogs dominating Central Michigan to advance to the regional final, where they faced a Miami team that had scored about 10 runs in three straight games to make their way into the regional final before they met Peyton Plumley, Mr. Shutdown, Mr. Closer, the man that gets you to the next round. Another fantastic round for Mississippi State. Hey, the Bulldogs said, hey, it was on to the next round. Prior to tonight, the past four games haven't gone my way in the box, but you know, you know, we won two games in a regional. So I mean, I was I was happy as can be, and uh, you know, I'd stay true to who I am. If you play the game the right way, play hard, good things are going to happen. And uh, I hit a ball 20 feet or four feet, and beat it out. And baseball is the weird game it is. I started finding some barrels. And the at bat that he had the double, I turned to Jake. I said, he he's out of it now. We were thinking about bunting, Marshall. Walked, I got you know right there, and we talked about. It. I said, "Do I bunt him?" And then we looked at each other and said, "Nah, he's Jake's back." And so, and then next pitch, he hits the ball in the gap. Um, I'm just happy for him. You know, he is everything he says. He's the epitome of, of a, a ball player, and he just he deserves to be able to enjoy this time. And it was hard watching him fight through it. You're at the, your senior year, and you're you're competing, and he is the ultimate competitor. And we knew he'd fight out of it. I mean, I, like I, I said it last night, he's been really good in his work. And um, it was just a point of getting that one hit to get it off his back. So it was on to the Super Regional to take on the Stanford Cardinal, two top 12 teams. One of the more impressive teams. Stanford was picked by some to win the national championship this year, but it was really just locked down all Mississippi State yet again, Courtney. You were there for game one. I was, and it was an insane game. You know, they got off to a little bit of a slow start. Ethan Small, not really his self in that first inning. He let up a run. The base is loaded. Let up a run wasn't Ethan Small. Wasn't Ethan Small. It's not something we're typically used to seeing him do. He's such just a strong force on the mound that you know when he's there, he's going to put batters away and get the job done. So that for him was 
not what we were used to seeing, but regardless of that, he ended up getting the job done, and Mississippi State did as well, and they're here today. And then that game, too, of Chris Lamona said that the ninth inning of that game was his duty noble moment, where Jake got the single to start the inning. That was his final at bat at duty noble field. And then, of course, Elijah McNamee with the pimp job of the year, absolutely belting a free run homer to left. After that, hey, Peyton Plumley, Jake Mangum, they said, we're happy we're going to Omaha, but we're not done yet. Everything I did to get back to this point was for this moment and to get back to Omaha and <clears throat> give our fans a national championship, which is what we're looking to do, and, and for all that to actually happen, to come into place, it's so surreal, and, and I'm super thankful to be here, and I'm super thankful for the opportunity to play for this university. I mean, I, I can speak for myself here. I, I didn't come back just to make it to Omaha. You know, we're, we're trying to win a national championship, so, uh, you know, we're, we're one step closer, and, uh, you know, we got work to do. In this group, when you play in this program, you play in so many big environments. You just learn how to um, and to play at this level. And we, we seem to do it day in and day out, and you get used to it a little bit. And they've had uh, so much postseason experience today. Even in our locker room, we talked about we've been here. You should be used to this. Um, go out and play our game. But um, <clears throat> we just have it's a neat dynamic in our program. We have so many older leaders, but we have a great sophomore class too that's that's shown a lot of leadership and production. So the Bulldogs' road to Omaha was dominating, and our road to Omaha was not. It was a long drive, Courtney. It was very long. It was about <laughs> give and take breaks and everything. I would say 20 hours, maybe. It felt like at it least felt it felt like, like, like it hours, that we were on the road. <laughs> Let me tell you, road closures, an IHOP stop. We did it all on the way up here. We crossed off all of everything on our checklist. I yeah, think. it was a great trip. You, me, WCBI Sports' Chris Bolton, we're all here in Omaha. You guys both experiencing it for the first time. We stopped by Southwest Baptist University. We did have a fantastic time. It's baseball, time. baby. They, they got baseball. baseball there. <laughs> Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats. And so, so much great stuff. Hey, Mississippi State had practice today. They've got a game to play on Sunday, taking on Auburn. We'll have much more on that when our Oma Dogs won Thing left to do. Special comes back after the break.